All right, everybody, pay attention. We're gonna watch Brian replace the bearings and seal in this through shift. This unit here is a 46-160. It takes the same bearings and seals as a 40 145. Just press down straight through, just like this. All right, make sure that you clean up this housing real good and get ready for the next part. All right, you have two bearings and two races. Both of them are identical. Um, this race, the part number is JLM104910. That's what Brian's driving in right now. And I'm sure there's a tool for this. But Brian just likes to beat the shit out of stuff with a hammer, so you just gotta let him do what he's gonna do. Um, secondly, the bearing right here that he's putting in, that's gonna be a LM104949. It's important to keep up with these snap rings. These snap rings, they make those in different sizes, and that's what sets the preload on those bearings on the inside of this. All right, there is absolutely no groove on this snap ring when it goes down here. It just pretty much spaces out the yoke and keeps the yoke nut from bottoming out onto the splines of the shaft itself. The seal part number is an A1-1205-Y2729. Don't forget to remove your wear ring from your yoke. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel and put a lot of content out here for truck drivers and new mechanics. And clean your seal surface up real good and install your new wear ring to your yoke. All right, you're ready to install this back in the truck and get rid of that aggravating leak that you've been staring at.